Hey everyone, it's Weston. Uh, just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys. This is a common issue that I encounter, that we encounter pretty often when um, when biocopying a wax up, uh, especially when you're biocopying a model. Um, oftentimes the software won't automatically stitch the models for you. So if you go right here into the acquisition phase, um, you'll get this error message. Um, green check mark doesn't pop up for your biocopy scan. The um, upper biocopy for this, um, or the upper model stitched properly. We did five, six, and then these posterior 11 through 14 on this model. And then we did the lowers over here, the lower posteriors, opening up the bite to get some clearance for the anterior teeth that will eventually be restored. But um, yeah, this lower model won't, um, it won't stitch or correlate automatically. So you're just going to proceed. You're going to click yes. And then I'll show you exactly how to handle this uh, situation. So first thing that I like to do is remove the color for the model. And when um, things are more monochromatic like this, you can see the details um, a lot better in my opinion. So what you're going to do here is, um, is select a data point on one scan and then translate or select that same data point um, on the other scan. So we can really select anything, but as you can see, um, we can only really use these anterior teeth for data points. If uh, all the teeth are prepped, then what you're gonna do is use the tissue for data points. Um, and the palette is a good reference. You got a lot of ridges and whatnot that you can use um, when, you're, when you're trying to stitch in uh, two upper jaw scans. But for this, and, and I'm assuming it, I mean, honestly, this should have automatically correlated because there's enough um, references or data points with these anterior teeth. But either way, it didn't. Um, we've got a lot of preparation back here in the post here. So let's just start. Let's just go at this. Um, I'll remove that so we can get a clear view of everything. And so I like this little bump right here. We'll click that. And then we'll find that same little bump on this incisal edge right there. And we're just going to do that about three or four times. And hopefully everything correlates. And these models can be tricky to maneuver around when you're doing this. But not a big deal. Um, you when what we're looking for are like distinct little like um, indentations or ridges um, that are easy to locate on the corresponding model. So we can just go right here to this incisal edge. Looks good to me. And whenever you're manually correlating, um, it's not going to be as accurate. Most of the time, it's not going to be as be as accurate as um, as it would be if the software were to have automatically done it for uh, for us. Let's just go right here. Now I'm worried that we're not going to have any good data points in the post here to um, get these to orient um, properly, but let's try that. Compute. So we'll move on now. We'll restore the color. Bring the color back in. And then... Okay. Well, long story short, that's how you're going to take care of that. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand this case back over to my client. Right now, I'm remoted in by a team viewer, so I'm going to log out. And um, that's how you manually correlate a biocopy model to uh, the scan of your preps. Hope that this video was helpful.